girl Noli and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, it's completely free. And also go ahead and click the bell button so you get a message every time I post a new video. Guys, I know you see my hair. I know you see that I'm out here flourishing with a new protective style. Okay, your girl went ahead and snapped with some faux locks and I did the whole thing by myself at home right here in my room. And of course, I filmed the whole process. Okay, I got you. So if you're interested to know how to do this hairstyle all by yourself in the comfort of your own home, then keep watching. Okay, so I started off by sectioning off my hair like this. Um, I went ahead and divided my hair into sections around the perimeter of my hair. And uh, this is where I'm going to do my individual uh, braids. So I have a section of the front, on the sides, as well as the back. And then as you can see, I also saved a section in the center and this is where I'm going to do my cornrows. So after moisturizing each section with my Aunt Jackie's Quench Leave-In Conditioner, I went ahead and applied my favorite edge control gel. And I'm using the Revlon Realistic Black Seed Oil um, Long Lasting Edge Control Gel. And as you can see, I'm applying the edge control gel to my roots. And this will help to keep my hair flat at the roots and it'll make the style uh, look a bit more neat. And it will make my roots last a bit longer. And then I'm going to go in with a hard bristle brush um, and try to be gentle with this part. And I'm just going to use the brush to brush down my roots and really get the edge control gel in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and separate um, this specific section into three parts to do a three strand braid. So I was trying to think ahead and um, think about how it's going to work when I want to remove this hairstyle and I have to remove all these three strand braids. So I kind of came up with this idea to do a three strand braid half of the way and then go ahead and do a two strand twist the rest of the way and I'm hoping this will make it a bit easier when it's time to take down the faux locks and it's time to unravel my braids. It'll make it go a bit faster. So when you're getting close to the end, you're just gonna go and divide one of the sections into two pieces and start doing a um, two strand twist. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have finished doing the individual uh, braids. And I also went ahead and flat twisted uh, the section in the center. I can't do cornrows to save my life. So I opted to do flat twists and I'm hoping that that will work for me. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see at the end of the video. And um, yeah, so now I'm ready to install the faux locks. So I purchased my faux locks from a company called Bron and Ayo. And if you watch my spring twist video, then you'll be familiar with um, this online company. And um, faux locks come in packets that look like this. And on the website, they suggest that you purchase five packets for a full head installation, and each pack costs 150 rand. Um, yeah, so that's about 750 rand in total, and they also charge you 90 rand um, for delivery. So I think that comes to about 840, 840 rand, I think. Um, so yeah, this is not cheap. Um, but the good thing is that if you install these properly, you can reuse them. Um, if you take care of the fiber, so I guess it's kind of an investment um, So yeah, the packaging looks like this and each packet has 20 individual um, faux locks So this is what each packet will look like and um, Brown and Ayo's faux locks come in two colors. You can get black or you can get this color which is ombre 1b slash 30 I think and it's kind of like a brown, dark brown here at the top and then it goes into a light brown here at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see. And then each individual strand looks like this. And I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but each individual strand has this loop here at the top, which makes it very easy to install it using the crochet method, which is what I'll be doing today. So as I mentioned, I'll be installing my faux locks using the crochet method. And to do that, you're going to need a crochet needle like this. I also purchased this crochet needle from Brown and Ayo, and I think it costs 40 Rand. Um, so it's super affordable. Okay, so I think I figured out how to go about doing this, and um, 
I'm gonna show you what I've been doing on this section right here. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is um, find that loop I was telling you about here at the top of the faux lock, and you're just gonna kind of stick your fingernail through and try to make um, the loop a bit bigger like this. And then you're just gonna hold it in your finger like that. And then you're going to take your crochet needle and then you're gonna open the latch like that. And then you're going to stick the needle um, underneath your braid like this. And then you're going to attach the loop, close the latch, and then pull it through like that. Okay. And then you're going to take the loop and you're going to put your index finger and your thumb through like this. And then you're going to take um, the tail of the faux lock and you're going to uh, put it underneath the loop like this. And then you're just going to push it down like that to tighten it. And then that's how you attach the faux lock to the braid. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is try to unravel um, the faux lock a little bit not too much it should be fine and what this does is that it helps you to wrap the fiber around um, your braid like this and then as you go down you just want to keep unraveling like this and you're going to keep wrapping it around your braid And then when you get towards the end, you're just going to wrap uh, what's left of your braid and kind of merge it with the fiber like this. And then that's it. That's one section done. section it's pretty simple you're just gonna push the crochet needle underneath your flat twist or your cornrows and you're gonna pull um, the fiber underneath and then you're just going to secure it the same way that you secured it onto um, your individual braids by tying it and uh, pulling it down so it's nice and secure <laughs> in certain places but you just have to twist it back up and um, yeah besides that this does really low maintenance you just kind of let it do its thing and if you see any pieces of your hair sticking out in certain areas just go ahead and twist it back up and that's it okay, so this was my first time doing faux locks um, all by myself and although I think I did a pretty good job I'm not gonna lie and say that there isn't room for improvement so if you are going to do this hairstyle, if you are going to follow my tutorial, then I do want to give you some tips and recommendations um, on how to improve upon what you saw in the video. So um, my first tip is I really recommend uh, doing the individual braids around the perimeter of your head and then doing the cornrows or the flat twists in the center. And doing the cornrows and the flat twists allows you to install more faux locks onto your head, which gives you a bit more volume. I think that if you did um, individual braids all over your head, 
um, your hair would look a bit flat because you don't have that many faux locks on your hair. My second tip is to try to do cornrows if you can. Um, yeah, I did flat twists and I really struggled because um, because the flat twists were here in the back of my head, I struggled to do them um, as tightly or as securely as I would have liked. And um, yeah, when I touch this part of my head, like the flat twists feel a bit loose. So yeah, I really recommend doing cornrows if you can or if you can't, really make sure that the flat twists are not too tight but make sure they're secure and they're not loose so my next tip is that i highly highly recommend that you apply the edge control gel um, onto your roots before you start braiding your hair um, like i did in the video and what this does is that it makes uh the roots of your hair um really really flat and it makes the style um look uh neater for longer so yeah i really recommend doing that it wasn't just me being extra and my last tip is to try to do um, at least two or three um, rows of individual uh, braids around the perimeter of your head um, and this will help you to kind of hide the cornrowed or flat twisted area when you tie your hair up so I did that for most of my head but unfortunately I only did one row um, of individual braids here in the back of my head and when I tie my hair up to do a bun it's very difficult to hide um, the areas of my head that have the flat twists so yeah try to um, think ahead and make sure that you are able to hide that crocheted area on your head okay guys so that is it for me I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something and the tutorial made sense um, there's something really empowering about being able to do your own hair and um, having this whole YouTube channel has kind of forced me to do it but now it, it really feels good to know that I don't have to go to a salon I can just order the fiber and do my own hair so um, I hope this video also helps you to reach that stage where you feel a bit more self-sufficient with your hair care before I go don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed my content give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video